So I'm the president and CEO of a major retro gaming property that's been around for 40 years. And people have been asking about my console. It kind of looks like a foot bath, they say. Well, I don't think it does. I think it's gonna change the face of gaming forever. And then they say, I'm a narcissist. They say, I have a big ego. Well, let's take the test and see how I do. I found this test online. It's the narcissism test, the narcissistic personality inventory. Now, I like to use data to back up the things I say because I use a lot of focus groups. So I have data to show that I'm going to reach a market of 3 billion people. So let's go to the test. Question one, I have a strong will to power. Well, I think that's true because I have a lot to offer. I'm a major player in the industry. So let's go to the next question. I really like to be the center of attention. Well, I don't know if you know this, but Tommy Tallarico, <laughs> my cousin, he's Steven Tyler, and he's in a little band called Aerosmith. I think he's kind of a big deal too. I'm not quite a, as much of a center of attention guy as he is, because I don't like to use alcohol or drugs, or since I met my wife eight years ago, I don't like to eat meat either, but I do like to be the center of attention. And if you saw me on one of my concert stages, you would know. I like to have authority over people. Yeah, I think that's true because I'm the boss at Intellivision Entertainment and we have a crack team of people who've put rockets into space and we're going to remake Asteroids, which is something really special that I think families are going to appreciate for years to come. If I feel competent, I'm willing to take responsibility. No, I am competent. I like to take responsibility for making decisions. That's why I run a big, long thread in a forum called Atari Age. So I go in there and I answer everybody's questions. And if they don't like an answer, well, I could always change it because I'm just one of the guys when I'm in there. I'm not speaking for a television entertainment when I'm in there. I'm just one of the guys. I'm a fan just like you. Question five. Well, I know the answer to this one. I am an extraordinary person. I hold multiple Guinness World Records and that's for holding video game live concerts on the internet in front of large internet audiences full of people from Singapore and Korea and Japan. I was one of the first people to do that. Question six. Oh, this one's easy. If I ruled, ruled the world, it would be a better place. We wouldn't have any pornography. We wouldn't have as much violence in video games. You know, you, people say that this was settled with the entertainment uh, rating system back in the 90s. I don't think it is because if you go to Nintendo site and you look at the uh, video they have about parental controls, it's the one place where they don't have any comments turned on. So my thing, the Intellivision Amico, which means friend in Italian, and I'm Italian American, that's going to change everything and it's going to make the world a better place. Let's see, question seven. I would prefer to be, well, everyone knows I'm a thought leader. People follow what I say. That includes the moderator on Atari Age. His name is Jaybird. And when I say someone's being mean to me, well, he just bans them from the thread. And he tells me they get multiple warnings. I don't know if that's really true or not, but I don't really care as long as I get what I want. Question eight, people sometimes believe what I tell them. No, I can make anyone believe anything I want them to. When I see somebody saying something I don't agree with on the internet, what I do is I write a big, long screed, like a manifesto. It needs to be 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 words. That means it's very clear that I'm making a good argument because the more words, that means you're winning. I prefer to blend in the crowd. I don't think so. I'm Tommy Tallarico. I like to be the center of attention. I like to be on stage. I like to be the CEO and president of Intellivision Entertainment. I am a born leader. That is so true. I come from a long line of 
performers and leaders and performer leaders. Did I mention that my cousin is Steven Tyler of Aerosmith? Modesty doesn't become me. <laughs> when you're as great as me, you don't need to be modest. If you look on the Atari Age Q&A thread under the word dick, you'll find me saying, oh, I'd be a real dick if I were to compare myself to Pat Contry of a completely unnecessary podcast, because I've met Sylvester Stallone, and he hasn't. Question 12. When people compliment me, I sometimes get embarrassed. I don't think so. I like that. I know I am good because everybody keeps telling me so. This is so true. And if they don't, my friend Jay Byrne at Atari Age, he can ban them. And if I don't like what somebody says in a YouTube comment, I'll just tell them I'm not going to engage with them anymore. Number 13. I want to amount to something in the eyes of the world. Well, if you go to my website, talarico.com, you'll see all of my performances and all of my achievements and all of my world records and all the video games I worked on. They, that, was, that was for like 10 years. And then I stopped in 2006 or so, but that's okay. I'm still a legend. Question 14. I sometimes depend on people to get things done. Well, I do have an extensive staff of people, and I also have the Amico Mafia who like to go out and fight with people on my behalf. But I rarely depend on anyone else to get things done. I think that's true. I hired Jay Allard, who used to be at Microsoft more than 10 years ago, and he's going to really help things happen with the television edu entertainment and the education division and the Amico but I don't need him because I'm Tommy. If I, I will usually show off if I get the chance. Huh, I think you'd better look at my videos. If you, if you look under Tommy Tallarico house tour, I have a dinosaur in my swimming pool. I can live my life in any way I want to. That's, that's definitely true. I don't really care if my neighbors don't like the dinosaur in my swimming pool. I find it easy to manipulate people. I think that's true. I've got a, a small but very loyal group of shills. All I have to do is send them a box of hoodies and they'll say whatever I want. They don't have to have played my Amico console. They don't have to like it. All they have to do is say nice things and say they're really excited about it. I will never be satisfied until I get all that I deserve. I think that's true. I mean, I have a big house and a beautiful wife and she rides a horse and I've got a dinosaur in my swimming pool and I've got a bunch of video games, but I, I think I deserve more. I'm, I'm kind of the Veruca Salt of video gaming. Do you know who she is? She was in the original Willy Wonka movie with Gene Wilder and, the, and she's a close, the actor who played Veruca Salt, she's a close personal friend of mine, just like the the man, well, he was a boy back then, who played Mike TV. People say that the kids in Willy Wonka, they were, they were just awful. And it was sort of a morality play about greed and nastiness. Well, I don't see it that way. I think they got what they deserved, which is they got close to Willy Wonka. And I want to be the Willy Wonka of video games. Number 19, I insist on getting the respect that is due me. Yeah, I think that's really true. Because when I'm posting in my Q&A thread, I don't want any haters coming in and tell me, telling me that things I say are, in, are inconsistent or saying, oh, the, the Amico is only going to be $150. Then I had to raise the price of $250 because I hadn't done the homework before I said that. But they're trying to use my words against me. I, that, that isn't good. They can't do that to me. But that's because I have a natural talent for influencing people. Yup, that's me. I am assertive. We know that's true. I can read people like a book. That's really true, too. Sometimes I take the words they put at me, like narcissistic or egotistical or egomaniacal. I don't really know what they mean, but I can turn them right back around at them and call them the same words. Being an authority doesn't mean, no, people always seem to recognize my authority. Did I mention that my cousin is Steven Tyler of Aerosmith? I'd like to show off my body. Well, that, that's something that's true. When I was living under a bridge, when I first went to California, I was homeless 
and then I worked in a guitar store and I had a TurboGrafx-16 t-shirt and somebody saw me and I got discovered. Then I became one of the world's biggest talents in video game music. I do like to be complimented. I will be a success. I already am a success. I think we all know that. I like to look at my body. Well, I think you do too. I like to look at myself in the mirror. I really like to use my headshot from the 90s when I was really young and handsome. Now I've got some crow's feet and I haven't been able to go to the colorist for a while, so I've got some gray hair and I haven't had a haircut because of COVID-19, so I have to wear a hat. But I still like to look at myself in the mirror. And you can catch me online in some of my YouTube interviews. They usually go for at least three hours. That's because sometimes I tell good stories. I know. Everybody likes to hear my stories. Everybody. That's why I go on for three hours at a time. I would do almost anything on a dare. I would buy the rights to a beloved old toy company, and I would pervert it into something unrecognizable, and then I would get some old people that used to work in that company, and I'd use them for my own personal gain, and then I would find some old marketing people who used to do some things in the 80s and 90s, and I would claim that they're on my team. I am going to be a great person. Well, I think we already know how that turned out. I wish somebody, somebody would someday write my bi biography. Well, I could probably write it myself because I'm, I'm a pretty good writer and I'm also a very fast typist. I can usually talk my way out of anything. If somebody says something I don't agree with, I'm going to jump on them. I'm going to write a manifesto. I'm going to demand that they interview me on the air, live. Maybe I'll give the money to charity. Maybe I won't. But I can talk my way out of anything and I can show them how they're wrong and how it's a false narrative. I do get upset when people don't notice how I look when I go out in public. I, I mean, when you're as famous as me, it, it, it kind of goes with the territory. I see myself as a good leader. I think we know the answer to that. I expect a great deal from other people or I like to do things for other people. I expect a great deal from other people. When I, when I had uh, the media come into my tour, my house, for a tour of my house and I showed them all my video games and my Spider-Man room and my Las Vegas Egyptian themed uh, dining room and the water feature in my bathroom, in my bedroom that makes me have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Well, somebody asked me, they're starving kids in India. What do you say about that? And I told them, huh, they should have learned to be a video game developer. They should have written soundtracks for Sega CD. I got mine. I am more capable than other people. That is for sure. I don't even know what business rules I'm breaking because I don't really care. I'm in this to win it. I'm about Tommy. I want everybody to know about the Intellivision Amico because unlike the hardcore systems that are only targeting 200 million people, the Intellivision Amico is built for three billion people. All those mobile gamers, they could play cornhole, they could play asteroids. It's really going to change the world. I always know what I'm doing. Well, yeah, I do because I'm a super sleeper. I stay up 20 hours a day because I'm a very special person. I have a very special uh, superpower. I don't, I don't have to sleep very much. So when my wife is sleeping, I sometimes go on the internet and I write nasty comments on YouTube or I do three hour interviews, just not talking about anything because I've got lots of time on my hands and I choose to use it in this way. I am a special person. I don't think I am a special person. I know I am a special person. That one is easy. Moving on, I like to start new fads and fashions. You know that old video, that old picture of me of, uh, where I'm selling my soundtracks to my video games? I've got ripped jeans, and I've got a mullet, and I've got a, an old leather jacket. I'm pretty cool. And that's why you see everybody doing this, wearing the same fashions as I did back then. I'm pretty great. Okay, now we can see what the score is. <gasps> Number one, I am 100% on the narcissistic personality inventory. That means I'm 45% more narcissistic 
than the average U.S. president. I'm 51.25 more narcissistic than the average reality TV star. I had my own TV show for a while, you know. And I am 62.5 more narcissistic than the average U.S. adult. I really am winning at this. I am a natural leader, and you, sh you all should be happy that you're get you get to interact with me. You're welcome.